This is the Anthony Burgess house in Lia in Malta. It was in this house in 1969 that he wrote the following and the sentiments he expresses I applaud. It was F.W. Bateson who made the distinction between the native English writer and the metac. The writer with a non-English linguistic, racial or political background. Who, being on the fringe of a language and the culture that begot it, lacks respect for the finer rules of English idiom and grammar. This, says Bateson, leads Metak to attempt effects of style, sometimes successfully, that the English writer would feel to be a perverse defiance of the genius of the language. Most of us would say that the final rules are essentially the property of non-creative pundits who at the higher level compile manuals of usage and at the lower scold children for constructing verbless sentences. As for the genius of the language, it is doubtful if English has a tutelary spirit or an immanent form. It is plastic and as ready to yield to the metac as to Mr. Bateson. Indeed, if we are to regard Poles and Irishmen as metac, there are grounds for supposing that the metac have done more for English in the 20th century meaning that they have shown what the language is capable of or demonstrated what English is really like than any of the pure-blooded men of letters who stick to the finer rules.